Passing through Elkhart, Indiana, I can finally check out the RV Hall of Fame. There are some amazing campers in here. So we're gonna go in and check this place out. So I'm not gonna show you all of these because there are a lot here, but I'm gonna show you some of the some of the ones that I think are more interesting. Look at this 1954 Holiday Rambler travel trailer. Look at this. Oh man, this thing creaks when you come inside. I can't imagine traveling the country in this thing. Look at these cots. Oof. Wow, this thing is really interesting. What the heck is this? Look at the front. A 1937 Hunt house car. Also called the Star. Look at that, it's a little, uh, like a pull-out toilet. Jeez, this thing is very innovative there with the, looks like a flip down sink. Huh. Look how different that is. Look at that rainbow, that rainbow corner light. Look at, look at the windshield on this thing, how futuristic this is. Wish it was a little, a little more lit up in these. I'd love to see what the dash looks like. This is a little truck here with some flip open windows. Reminds me of like a little delivery truck or something with a bed in the back. Let's see what the front looks like. The Leprechaun, 1978 Coachman Leprechaun. The design in here. And the interesting thing about this one is that there's actually a tub, as small as it is. Jeez. Look at this one a GMC tandem axle, tag axle. This thing must drive beautifully. This is really nice. All leather. You can actually smell the leather. I don't know what year this is, but it looks much, much newer than the other ones I've been looking at. Probably the 80s from the design, but this thing is really nice. Look at this washer slash dryer here and the whole back is a bathroom again a tiny little 
tub, obviously just a shower really, with a fancy sink and a huge amount of counter, counter space up here and a stainless steel sink. Yeah, look at that, there's the dryer. This is my favorite so far. I could cruise the country in this thing. Look at this, it even has a uh, little wine cooler thing here. I don't know how to open it. Oh yeah, look. Look at this. You even keep your wine in here. Look at this thing. 1974 GMC Motorhome. Again with the tag axle. It's pretty rare these days to have the smaller RVs with the tag axles on the back. Eight-track, eight-track player in the dash. This '70s yellow. I guess this converted into a bed, or converts into a bed. And this is. It's dark in here, but this is the shower it's hard to see shower and toilet wet bath surprisingly comfy in here possibly the most interesting travel trailer in this place is this 1939 which was Charles Lindbergh's the sign says, during his day, Charles Lindbergh captivated the American public, having vaulted himself from obscurity to worldwide acclaim as the first pilot to complete a solo non-stop transatlantic flight in 1927. Five years later, Lindbergh would hold the headlines once again. However, this time, it regarded the tragic kidnapping and murder of his infant son, Charles Jr. Quite amazing to think that Charles Lindbergh owned and enjoyed this. Look at this primitive sink. Jeez. Very basic in here though, but 1939, I think they all were. Look at this even in the, framed inside the wall here, clock and an amp meter. Looks like a light up here with a switch. Wow. Very interesting. Look at this odd one here. This is a Pierce Arrow. I'm not sure what those gates are doing, but this is a 1928 Pierce Arrow Fleet House Car. Can't go inside this one, but you can peek around the corner. Look at that toilet. Not bad for 1928. There's some pictures here that show the sink and 
the stove, and that toilet we just looked at with the sink that flips down. And this is an actual motor home. I mean, you can actually drive this thing. Look at that. I'll show you what it looks like inside. So I'd have to say that my three favorite in this place, probably for historic reasons, is this one, the Lindbergh trailer. And my favorite, right next to it actually, my favorite to actually take on the road is probably this one with the tag axles. Um, there's no information about it, it just says XF15. I don't know what year, but it's certainly not old. I mean, you could see this thing. It's very very new compared to these others but i would love to travel around in this thing and then from a design perspective this this one here on the cadillac chassis to me that is so interesting you just don't see that stuff very often anymore at all this is the star streak 2. oh it's an 88 so I'm mistaken. This is built in 1988 using a 1976 Cadillac Eldorado chassis. So it's not really that old. I think it was just built to look a certain way. But I love this thing. More, more the outside. I think that it just has a gorgeous design. But yeah, it's really not that old. All right, so those were my favorites. So leave a comment down below and let me know what your favorites were. So I'm getting out of here now. I'm getting into Ohio next. So I'll see you soon.